Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Ah, right, right. uh, yes, it's 11.30 on this Thursday, and we've got a good one, and we've had back-to-back -back beautiful days. I mean, we had so much sunshine a couple of days ago. Little on the chilly side, high temperature was in the upper 50s. That was on Tuesday. Yesterday, we had a frosty start, so a little bit of frost out there, a smattering, I like to say. Didn't seem like it did a lot of trouble or caused a lot of problems to the plants and vegetables out there, but... Uh, then we warmed up nicely. We hit 71 for high yesterday. Today we started even warmer. We were in the upper 40s, so now we're getting somewhere. Cool morning. We got a warm afternoon ahead of us, and even right now it's already warmed up. We've got a few 70s on the board currently, so looking pretty good as we roll into this third to last day of April. Of course, the last day of April we do have a severe weather threat out there, but it looks like most of the day on Saturday. I wouldn't cancel any plans. It's going to be scattered showers, but I think we're going to be okay for the most part tomorrow and also on Saturday. It's Saturday night though that we have that severe threat. All right, let's take a look at a few tower cams as we get going on this third. Thursday, and you can see downtown Evansville. Now we've seen some high clouds kind of move in and kind of shroud things just a little bit, but we're still talking about a decent amount of sunshine. We had a lot of sunshine this morning. I still expect a few breaks in the clouds later today too, but yeah, more clouds and sun pretty much from here on out. And that's going to be the case really tomorrow, more clouds and sunshine. There's our Heads Construction Tower Cam in the backyard. Yesterday, if you remember yesterday morning, we had that bank of fog out there. Didn't have the fog this morning though, but check out the trees. You know, I'll tell you what, and it might have been the late freezes, late frost that we had. Of course, we had a frost uh, yesterday morning as the reason why some of these trees and some of the blooms really weren't quite as phenomenal. If, if you remember, it was a couple of years ago on spring. I mean, we had dogwoods blooming for like a month, azaleas blooming for a long time. This year, not quite so long before they leafed out. I think the blooms might have been gotten uh, by some of that late freeze, late frost action. I will say this, though. Uh, we've got some good looking. Uh, I've got one to show you here coming up here in a minute. Anyway, got a little bit of traffic out there on 41 northbound and southbound. Looks like everything's flowing fairly smoothly uh, as 41 goes. And there's a barge which is working its way westbound as it heads in from the east. That's the Blue Bridge under a blue sky, although we do have some high clouds out there. Smothers Park, I'm sure, getting a lot of foot, foot traffic out there later on today. If it hadn't already, I don't see any foot traffic out there right Right now. I'm sure there's some kids down there. That's our roof clean camera on top of the Hampton Inn. There's the southbound bridge. There's the northbound bridge and the traffic moving nicely and the birds flying all around. And they're going to come back here probably to Ellis Park and grab some grub. There's always seem, always seem to be a lot of birds hanging around Ellis Park. I think there's probably some leftover tots or fries or something there. Anyway, in our D Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera there, Deaconess Gateway showing the traffic on 69 and 66. And things are hopping there as per usual, but you can see kind of a bank of clouds out there right now. But most of those are high clouds. 66 degrees currently uh, with that dew point nice and low. So, yeah, nowhere close to humid, mild. It will be nice and warm later today. South, southeast wind at 8. We didn't have much of a breeze yesterday, and we're not going to have a big wind today, but it's going to be a little bit breezier, especially this afternoon, as we're more in that 10 to 15 mile per hour range from the east and from the southeast. Temperature wise, how low can we go? We got some 63 still up there to the north. Don't know if we can do a run. We can give it a try, though. 63 in Lagodi, 64 in Flora, 65 in Fairfield, 66 in Carmi, 67 in Santa Claus, 68 in Tell City. Ah, we're going to do it. 69 degrees in Henderson, 70 degrees for Mama and Calhoun, 71 in Madisonville. Then there you go. The run is done. But it's a pretty wide range there from low 60s to low 70s, basically from northeast to the south. And wind speed wise, nothing too terrific out there. Most of these are single digit readings, but it has picked up just a little bit as we kind of worked our way through the morning. All right, coming down in three, two, one. You're going to love it, Angie. Funky! Today's funky fruit, lobster clawberries, <laughs> not strawberries. That's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, we got the two lobster claws right. I love the fact that Brittany Ellison not only had one, she had two of these lobster clawberries right there. So it worked out pretty well. Uh, two for one deal on the old funky fruit. Thank you so much for that, Brittany. So we take a look at live first morning Doppler radar. We are noticing a little bit of rain up to the north of Flora, but that is kind of pushing up out of the tri-state. That's US 50, pretty much the northern edge of the tri-state. Still have a little bit of rain showing up around St. Louis, but I mean, spotty showers, the best chance for rain today is going to be to the north of 64, and in particular, the north of 64 in parts of southern Illinois. Looks like a little bit of rain headed toward the Terre Haute area if you're traveling up north on 41. And you've got a few showers out there in Missouri, but for us, we're not looking at much as far as rainfall is concerned. Indianapolis had a little bit of rain earlier today. Things 
things are drying up a bit. If you're traveling there, Nashville looking good with plenty of sunshine down to the south. But yeah, the system's kind of taking shape out in the midsection of the country, and our rain chances are going to pick up just a little bit. But as we get closer to the weekend, it doesn't look quite as wet as it did before. Yes, we've got more clouds and sunshine, but we're getting both this afternoon and a little more sunshine, it looks like, down in western Kentucky. Yeah, a few showers could be popping, especially up to the northwest, but for the most part, we're staying dry today. Now, the rain chance picks up a little bit tonight. And especially again to the north. I think Future Tracker kind of overplaying the rain for our Friday. As we start the day, first thing in the morning, here we are at 6 o'clock. Really not a whole lot. The latest run on Future Tracker kind of pulls back on some of that morning rain. And in the afternoon, most of the rain staying to the north as we kind of roll into our Friday evening. That rain chance picks up a little bit north of 64 and up to the northeast around Jasper, Lagodi, and Washington. But a lot of folks are going to be staying dry, it looks like, as we head into Saturday, especially down in western Kentucky, both for the rest of today and tomorrow, so the best chance of rain north. We still have a slight risk of uh, severe weather. That's going to be on Saturday night. So during the day on Saturday, still some scattered showers out there, but the slight risk, most of the tri-state, pretty much from Ligoti down through Jasper, then you got Owensboro and Madisonville, points to the west from there, and that's a good chunk of the tri-state uh, with that slight risk. The storms are going to be weakening as they move through the tri-state. That's why we have a marginal or less of a risk as you have the eastern counties, uh, Perry, Ohio, and Hancock in particular, uh, marginal risk. 73 degrees for a high today and no risk for severe weather with a mix of sunshine and clouds, but more clouds and sun from here on out. A lot of high clouds out there and an east-southeast wind at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. On the three-degree guarantee, I called for a high yesterday of 68, got up to 71. You know that's a winner. Jeffrey Ferguson. Let's hear it for Jeffrey. Woo-hoo! of Henderson. Congratulations, Jeffrey. You got a sock cap courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Come on by the station and pick that up. 73 today, 70 degrees tomorrow. We're going to stay in the 70s for the rest of the week. We are going to be warming up close to 80 on Saturday. And again, got some chances for rain tonight, tomorrow, mainly to the north. And then we've got that severe threat on Saturday evening. And then Sunday, look at this. The rain tapers off early, it looks like, around daybreak. Plenty of sunshine. So, Angie, Sunday, the better of the two days over the weekend. Yes. High of 75. A little on the windy side this weekend, but I like Sunday, and I like azaleas in bloom. We talk about Jim Johnson, who's a barbecue expert. Yes, he travels he the globe preaching the gospel of barbecue. <laughs> and uh, he's so well. His Hallelujah. wife, Becky's got a green thumb. Check out the azalea bush she has in her backyard. Looking good, Becky. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's on the north side of Evansville. More lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.